Hello, my name is Perry Krug and I'm a systems engineer with Gear 6. Today I'm going to give you a quick overview of a tool that the engineers here at Gear 6 have released into the open source community to help monitor your Memcached traffic. This particular tool is a plugin for the open source traffic monitoring program Wireshark. Wireshark itself is a very useful and robust tool for analyzing all types of network traffic, but until recently it was lacking the necessary plugin to parse and analyze Memcached traffic. That's what we wrote. To begin, you'll need to download the latest version of Wireshark if you don't already have it. Do a Google search for Wireshark and click the first link. Follow the links to download and install Wireshark for your particular platform. The easiest way to get started is to log into your memcached server and use the TCP dump command. I'm just going to give a quick example here, but the TCP dump command is another very powerful tool for analyzing all sorts of network traffic. Type TCP dump followed by a dash I for interface, and then type the interface that you would like to capture traffic on. Next, type dash S followed by a zero. This tells the program not to cut off any information within the packets. By adjusting this size, you can control how much data is stored per packet, and therefore how big the overall size of the capture file will be. A dash W followed by a file name tells the command to store the information in that file, rather than printing it out to standard output. This is crucial since we will then run this file through Wireshark to analyze it. Adding a .pcap or just cap will help Wireshark recognize the file and open it automatically. Lastly, I'm going to tell the command to just watch for traffic coming to or from port 11211, which is the port that my memcached server is listening on. This will filter out any unwanted traffic, like my SSH session. Hitting enter will start the capture, and you can kill it with control C there will be some brief output telling you how much was actually captured. Now we'll open Wireshark and open the file that we just created. If you're not familiar with Wireshark, there are a number of very good tutorials and use cases online to help you get started. You should see a list of packets here, and the protocol should be displayed telling you what kind of traffic the pack packet contains. In this case, it's memcache. By clicking on a single packet, we can drill down into the individual fields. You can see in this packet the command was a set with a key called Brutus-19854, no extra flags or expiration time, a value of size 256 bytes, and then the actual content. Looking at the response from the server, it basically said, OK, I stored that key. Next, we have a get packet. You can see that the client is sending the get command, asking for key Brutus-649034. The server sends back an empty packet, which basically means I didn't have that key. That's a get miss. Let's see if we can find a get hit. Here we go, another get packet. The response is immediately following and contains the same key that was requested, as well as the value. There are a few more operations in the memcache protocol, but sets and gets are by far the most common. This has been just a quick overview of what's possible with Gear 6's Wireshark plugin for memcached. I thank you all for listening to me, and take care.